Jham3D here. I'm working on a project which requires volumetric clouds. Now, the second you add volumetric clouds, you get an increase in render time, probably like 10, 20 X. So it's kind of a problem and it sucks because this scene is simple. So how can we speed up render times and also use these volumetric clouds? Well, luckily if you are using the real cloud add-on. Oh, great. Another free tutorial with the paid add-on wait, wait 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 calm down you actually don't need this add-on for this tutorial to help you this tutorial will help you in almost any scene you're using but especially if you just got the real cloud add-on and you're like how do I use VD 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 without rendering nine years now real cloud comes with an optimization feature where you can render it at super low samples and it'll still look very good so something like 10 samples is enough but for my scene in my case 10 samples isn't gonna be enough for the rest of the scene if we could get away with a low sample count on the clouds alone and separate that from the rest of the scene which has a higher sample count we can actually optimize this so that is where view layers come in handy now if we wanted to isolate these clouds what we're going to do is add a new view layer you're going to click this right here add new view layer click new and then you can title it whatever you want i've already done that so let's go to clouds which is the view layer that i made a couple of things here so if we toggle this filter pull down right here we can see that we have these different restriction toggles let's click this one which is the holdout and that's going to allow us to create a mask for our astronaut so what i'm going to do is shift and click on this because by shift clicking it that enables a mask for the entire everything in this collection is now under a holdout mask so in this layer just make sure that only the objects you want to see in this layer are going to be rendered also double check to make sure that the proper lights and cameras are also going to be rendered that's very important okay now let's go to view layer our original view layer i'm gonna title this main and now in this layer we don't want the cloud so how do we remove the clouds from this it's actually insanely easy if we check this box right here exclude from view layer now it will not be in this view layer when we render it here's the thing though if we were to just click render right now it's going to use the samples that we determine right here in our render properties so for example if i click render now it's going to say 100 samples for this layer and it's also going to do the same for the cloud layer so if we switch back over to our cloud layer we go to view layer properties and we scroll down we will see override samples now i've already set this to something lower i'm going to keep it at 10 but you can put it at whatever you like and now if we click render we have our main view layer and we have our cloud view layer which were rendered at totally different things and by the way this rendered at i don't know what did we have it at like 100 samples and it rendered way 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 faster than the clouds did at five samples because i cut it off halfway through that's how long it was taking it saved me a ton of time because if it was all of this in one it probably would take overnight <laughs> so because we used the whole out mask you can see in our cloud view layer that this the astronaut area is transparent which means that we should be able to easily overlay the cloud layer on top of the astronaut so i'm going to just go ahead and do that real quickly so you're going to want to make sure that you have two of these render layer inputs so just shift d duplicate that one and i'm going to Pull down, click clouds, and now we're gonna mix these um, right here, here, and here. I'm gonna control shift click on this mix node. Now we will see the output. Okay, so obviously this doesn't look like it's working. The thing is we need to plug in our alpha and boom. Now I should probably increase the samples a little bit or just make sure the denoiser plays through. Maybe I can just use a denoise here on our clouds and see if that helps so obviously it's very grainy yeah okay look 2d noise for my liking however that saved a ton of time so i hope this tutorial helps you guys out follow me on instagram to see the final results